Hi there trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Redline's line of replacement U-bolts. Round U-bolts are commonly used to hold your leaf spring stack onto your axle. And if you're making any repairs to your trailer, it's possible that the threads can get damaged where you can't reuse the U-bolt. You might have to replace them in that instance. Or if you had some sort of blowout or any other kind of damage where you might have had some damage that caused some issues with your U-bolts here, you may need to replace those as well. Over time, if you've constantly taken these off, they do stretch out over time, so it is a good idea to replace them if you've had several repairs done and remove them. The ones that Redline have offer slightly longer length, so that way you can ensure it's going to be a fit for your trailer. We also recommend these if you're gonna be adding accessories to your trailer and you need the additional length if that accessory goes on your U-bolt. We can see our factory U-bolt here on the trailer we were just working on. If we wrap it around, we can see it only goes up about that high. So this is about six inches in length. The new one here that we put on is about seven inches in length and it gives us the extra length that we needed to be able to install the mounting plate for the shock absorbers that we just installed on here. With our factory U-bolt, we'd have almost no threads here sticking up so our nut would be able to go on but it wouldn't be able to be properly torqued with enough threads to ensure that it's going to stay torqued in that position. Today we're showing off the three inch wide u-bolts with a half inch diameter. These have a seven inch length and we again we use those to get our comfort ride system installed but we have them available in all the various sizes so that way you can ensure you got a replacement for your trailer. We have them down as small as an axle diameter of one and three quarters of an inch. That's going to be your 2,000 pound axles, all the way up to an axle that is five inches in diameter. And that's going to be your larger axles that are around 12 to 15,000 pounds. Now the diameter of the U-bolts do change as the sizes go up. Your smaller ones that only are for the one and three quarter inch axles typically have a size of three eighths in, of diameter while your large ones with that five inch wide uh, axle length is gonna have a diameter of the U-bolt of about three quarters of an inch to ensure that it can handle that weight rating of that. Now there are a couple of different U-bolts that do have an overlap. The three inch ones that we're using here also have another three inch version available that's in a 9 16 diameter. So you wanna just check your trailer and your old U-bolt to make sure you're replacing it with one that's going to be accepted, acceptable with the hardware that you have on here. Cause we wouldn't be able to take a 9 16 and slide it through these brackets because the bracket on here was designed for a half inch. Replacing your U-bolts is pretty easy. The smaller your trailer is, usually the easier it is. Those larger U-bolts, you are gonna need to have a little bit more strength required to remove and torque down the nuts because they are typically a higher torque value for the larger the U-bolt. When taking them off, you wanna make sure your axle is properly supported. If you follow along with us, we'll show you an example of how to remove and swap out the U-bolts. We'll begin our installation by parking our trailer onto level ground. Your driveway, in most cases, is a great spot and lifting it up and removing our wheels. You'll want to jack it up and support the frame with jack stands. You have to get it high enough off the ground to where your wheels are off the ground so you can get those pulled off. And once you've got those pulled off here, you are set up to begin working. We're using a lift here on ours to hold ours up, but again, it's gonna be very similar at home. You're just not gonna have the cross beams with the lift. You'll have just these jack stands here underneath your frame. Now the jack stands that I've got here, these are just precautionary jack stands that are underneath the axles because we're going to be taking the U-bolts loose and once we take those loose the axle can drop down. But I also have my jack here underneath the axle and I'm going to be moving this jack around and keeping it under the axle that I'm working on because the jack stands are really just supplementary in case something happens my jack were to something were to happen to the jack where the fluid leaked out we got a jack stand here to support it. So we're going to remove the nuts here on top to take these U-bolts off the U-bolts that are on your trailer aren't going to be long enough to accept the brackets for the comfort ride system, so we are going to be replacing these U-bolts. You can get new U-bolts here at e-trailer, and we'll, once we get these off, we'll show you the new U-bolts. We're using a three-quarter inch socket to remove the nuts. They are going to be on there a little snug, so you'll probably have to start it by hand. And then your tool can zip it off there, usually the rest of the way. So now we've got these all zipped loose, we can pull our U-bolts out of there. They just pull down, they're usually a little bit stiff, so just kind of work them back and forth and just pull downward, come out of there. You can also kind of rock the uh, top piece here some, sometimes that helps, or if you pull it over like this, you can kind of get a little bit of a bang motion on it to help persuade it off of there. 
So now we've got our factory bracket out of the way. This is your comfort ride, your shock bracket. You'll have four of these in the kit and they are gonna be specific to a certain location. So we've got them sat out here for the axle. So this is gonna be for the front axle towards the front. We want this bracket to be angled down towards our equalizer here. And we also wanna make sure that the holes are flat facing towards the center of our trailer like that. And the one for the axle behind this is gonna face like this. So these brackets are gonna be angled like this. On the opposite side of our trailer, we want the same story to be mimicked over there. So we'll take our bracket now. We'll set it on top of our leaf spring. And you can see there's an alignment pin there that does line up with the hole in the bracket. We can then set our factory bracket right back on top. Grab our new U-bolts. We'll go up through the bottom, through our shock bracket and our factory one and then we'll secure it with the new nuts that came included with the u-bolts we'll do the same thing with the other two sets of holes right over on the other side of our leaf spring stack once we got them all started we can go back and tighten them down you do want to kind of go back and forth to try and tighten them down evenly so you have roughly the same amount of u-bolt sticking up above each nut So now we'll torque our hardware to the specifications found in your constructions. And that completes our look at Redline's line of replacement U-bolts.